Welcome race fans, this is Cash GT, and today we'll be racing go-karts. This is my first video, so I hope you guys enjoy. We are going to be using the number 21. That is my favorite number, so of course we're going to go in with that. So, let's get into the race. From our qualifying time, it looks like we'll be P2 on the grid. Uh, we're going to get ourselves a little warm-up in. Get a little antsy. See how fast we can warm up these tires on the go-kart. I'm extremely excited. I, I have been waiting like a month for these races to come with the go-kart. And uh, looks like we're about to get started. And as we take off, I'm extremely excited to get this race underway. Uh, the, I know these are really competitive as we are racing against Duck in the lead. Um, of course, we're gonna have a little oopsie poopsie at the front and of course everybody is touching metal like always in these daily races it is very aggravating but what can you do um, as we go in there's a lot of a lot of go-karts going every which way and it looks like we're going to take this turn we're going to be falling to brazilian and somebody got knocked off to the side uh, that's what you have to expect when racing these go-karts um, one thing I do want to say is, as we're going around this turn, following the Brazilian, um, you definitely want to try to keep the go-kart straight with these go-karts. They accelerate so much faster when the steering wheel is straight. So do your best to keep them straight. We're going to try to duck in, go inside on this turn, knock the orange 32 car up a little bit. My bad on that. Looks like somebody got a penalty. I don't know how they did that. Probably knocking somebody off the track from earlier. Uh, we didn't gain any positions on that turn. The Brazilian goes off course, almost swerves into us. We're going in, hopefully don't get hit. Looks like we won't. As I was saying, you really don't know what to expect from everybody racing as I touch up the number 32 car. Um, everybody is so unpredictable. You really don't know what to expect. Um, everybody has a mind of their own and they do not care what they do to you as long as they are in front of you. Um, the guy with the penalty about to slow down. We're taking this turn. Everybody's kind of zooming in. I touch up this number 17, but it doesn't really affect him at all. I'm still trying to adjust on how to react to everybody else because they're so crazy. I'm doing a lot better in like the GT3 or the GT4 races, but go-karts, I mean, this is only my second race racing the go-karts and you really just don't know what to expect from everybody. They're just kind of all over the place, but we find ourselves in P4 chasing to get at least on the podium we dive in swan bomb obviously after just you know not used to these go-karts i just don't break and of course i get hit off the track by the orange car um and we are going to try to fight for positions number the guy in p3 gets off course goes into the grass looks like it, we will not be seeing him again um the last boss finds his way into P3 and we are on a mission to get onto podium. As we find ourselves on the straightaway, if you guys like this type of content, uh, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. We are right now at the time of recording, we're at 171 subs and you know, I'd really like to see where this channel can go. I love sim racing. I hope you guys do too. And I hope to see you guys on track, hopefully not crashing into me because that would suck. Um, everybody likes to have clean races and some people just like to ruin it for others. And you know, that's, that's how it is. That's how the community is. Looks like we are losing time to the guy in P1. He is 5.3 seconds ahead of us, and we are 1.3 seconds behind P3. Uh, right now, we're just kind of trying to clean up our race a little bit as we mess up again. Like I said, this is only my second race with the go kart Still trying to figure out how to drive them, how the turns go, and everything like that. And I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job of, with all these mistakes, trying to keep up with the top three. Um, we really want to finish at least on the podium. I mean, even if you get third, that's still podium. Um, it's not first, but you got to do what you got to do to get up there and, you know, get a trophy. 
One thing I really want to work on is cleaning up my lap times. I know that tents on each lap are extremely important and one of the things that I'm trying to work on is definitely improving my consistency. Uh, I feel like consistency one is, is one of the hardest things in racing to perfect and that's why you see guys like Max Verstappen and Formula One. I mean his laps are so consistent and that's why with his car of course because the Red Bull car is insane why he is doing so well and looks like we just set the fastest lap so we are definitely improving on trying to catch up and we are slowly and i mean slowly catching up the first and getting back into the race uh, this is eight lap race and we are on lap six so as long as we don't make mistakes like i just did going too wide on that turn like i said i mean some of these these go-karts are so hard to you know perfect they're so hard to be consistent on but you know when you want to be a really good racer that's one of the things you have to fight with is being consistent and it looks like we're going to get a little close closer to the p2 and p3 um, p1 is honestly he's just out like he is gone <laughs> i don't really think we have a chance of catching up to him in this race and it looks like we are 300s behind on the last lap but you know that's okay you know we're that's consistent looks like that's within a tenth and we just set another best i don't know how we did it must have been the exit on that last turn um but that's an improvement and you know that's what we're looking for and if you guys are having problems with you know being consistent i definitely recommend just practicing just practicing a lot obviously i didn't practice enough for this race uh, but usually when it comes to gt4 cars uh, you have to, as I make another mistake, you have to be consistent with your exit because as long as you're maintaining a high speed and good exits in GT4 cars, you're definitely going to see yourself in the podium more often and more consistent lap times. So far, we have done a pretty good job at staying with P2 and P3. Um, really this entire race has just been chasing podium i mean we're not really going to have a good chance at getting p1 but we do have a chance at getting on the podium and this is the last lap of the race we're getting closer of course i mess up as i say that honestly i feel like if i wouldn't have messed up so many times and probably had a little bit more practice beforehand i feel like i definitely had a chance to be p2 or p1 uh, like guaranteed just because I was losing a lot of time when I was going into the grass and, you know, being inconsistent. Um, but we are really just chasing to get on that podium. And we are setting the fastest lap. We've had the fastest lap, I think, since uh, lap four. So over half the, the race, or right at half the race, we have had the fastest lap. And we are chasing them. This is so close. This is what I love about racing. You know, you... You never know what's going to happen. As we go around the last turn, we're trying to get up there, but it's low. And P3 goes out, and we are going to get P3. Look at that finish. You never know what's going to happen. You always have to stay consistent, and we got the win. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button, and I'll see you on the next one.